emotions and the men stand up and feel embarrassed to talk about their emotions and what they're going through. So we believe that's the reason that uh, men are being used less than ladies. Well, um, I would like to say that uh, I like to think that I'm a stand-up guy that will, you know, if a woman, somebody slaps a woman, I'll slug them like that. And I just cannot stand to see this happening to anybody, but to women. It just burns my ass, I'll tell you, excuse my ass. But it does. Yeah, I'm, most respectable men are the same way. If I see any man being derogatory or abusive to a woman, a lady, I, I'm, I'm exactly the same way. We just we cannot do that. And to have 60% of the target individuals being women or, or young women, it's, it's just overwhelming the number of people I come in contact with who are just absolutely lovely people. Uh, who have been used for this technology. Um, Wikipedia trade shows a history of experimentation by the US government, including LSD experimentation, injecting black women to make them barren, syphilis experimentation. There was one point where they injected people with, I believe, plutonium, and also members of the military who are out there trying to secure the country trying to keep us safe have been used. The returning medicine have just been used so badly. And there was a, a radiation, as you as you know also, Frank, has been tested on people without their without their permission. And there's a brilliant video if people go on YouTube that was uh, put together by the medical practitioners who had been investigating these people who were basically tortured with radiation. They went into basic surgery and, uh, and I can use the word basic. It's, it's just overwhelming when you have a basic condition like this created by something so overwhelming by a man and technology. People would go into hospital for surgery and under, under anesthetic they were tested with, with radiation they came out with burns and this YouTube video which was put out in October of 1980, sorry, 1995 after 18 months of investigation showed that the US government had been torturing people this way, testing radiation on people and compensation was agreed on and it is just wrong. It's life is a privilege. It's a it's a blessing from from whomever, from a higher power, whatever. And we have perpetrators, people who have no soul, who are not only using dictators, not only the usual dictators around the world, but people who are part of this development process who sit in their homes or sit in some place and degrade people and constantly monitor people. I mean, it's no different to to World War II. Adolf Hitler accommodated his people by raping the land he believed belonged to Germany. Uh, outrageous. Yes, it is. And I just wanted to add... What are you... What are you, what are you? 